everybody so i just got back from my doctor's office um i went in for a hydrofacial today it was part of my concierge package that i paid for last year for um being an aesthetic member at his practice he has a um a medical day spa as well as being a general physician so uh, I treated myself today, but that brought me out to Destin and you know what that means. I cannot stop or leave Destin without going to the Goodwill. And, um, I think I may also, uh, stop by another one out here for you guys too. So stay tuned. Okay. So I start off in the hard goods section at Goodwill. I'm looking through mugs again, as always. This one was very cute. And there I spotted it, another Mickey mug, just like the one I picked up the other day. So now I can sell them as a pair. And I picked up this nice little dark floral. This was a European chocolate mug. And at first I thought, oh, this could be something interesting. But I checked the comps and not so great. This was a nice beer mug, but it was etched and personalized, so I left it. However, this one seemed nice and heavy and I liked it, so I picked it up. This was one of those little um, handmade wine bottle glasses, and I picked it up. I think I'll end up finding more of those here and there, so I may end up trying to collect a set of them. Really nice fish planter. That was melamine. Little wall pocket, but very, very lightweight, very cheaply made. This on the other hand, very lightweight and not so well made, but what style this thing had. This little pineapple style lantern I was just drawn to it. I think it could go dark cottage core. I think it could go dark tropical, dark coastal. So I picked it up. And then I found this little gypsy mirror. Hello. It is tin. I like the style of it. It could be gypsy, it could be Western. Very lightweight but it had a nice hanger on the back. It wasn't too terribly expensive. So in the cart, it went. A nice little moth on a dark tray with dark candles. That was a very heavy um, candle holder, possibly stainless steel. We have a whole collection of wine corks here for $12.99. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. A really cool boot photo frame. A candy dish or dessert tray, very lightweight. These were some shabby chic looking wall hooks. They were kind of hooked together. I didn't want to try to one-handedly detangle them. They were cottage core. I did like them, but I think they're kind of specific of an item. Kind of specific. specific. Nice little melamine plates with like bubbles in them. 
plastic plates I thought would be nice for summer. I did not pick them up though at $2 a piece. Now if it had been maybe $6 for the whole stack, I would have got them. <laughs> this was funny. The struggle was real. It is something made by Nescafe. I know Nescafe is a very popular um, coffee maker. People love the Nescafe pods, but I had no idea what it was. I struggled to try to put it, open it and put it together. Corksicle, do those still sell? Are those a good brand? I picked one of those up last week, a Broncos tumbler. So I left that one. Drip glaze. This was a little teleflora type piece, a little florist piece. Very stylish, kind of mid-century looking. A little tin cake stand. Not particularly well made. This, on the other hand, a nice little hand-made uh, pottery piece. I like the scoring on the sides. Very heavy. And I did like that the colors were blue and green. And it was signed on the bottom. I was looking at the crystal, learning more about it. This really cool, I don't know if that's a piece of ebony wood. I had some little hippie girl come up to me right after I ended up putting that down. But sadly, that piece was missing part of its nose. Like the one half of the hammerhead was chipped off. She was bummed, as was I. Picked up these coasters. This time I did check them over really well to make sure they were in good shape. They are dark, like a hardwood set of four coasters looking very dark tropical. An onyx or marble candle holder there that has been there for a while. Message in a bottle kit, no bottle, just the papers to write on. Very stylized looking box. Those four canisters are still there. Another glass jar full of potpourri. Those were ceramic balls, the kind that sit inside a large bowl, decorative bowl. I think that style has kind of come and gone. This was interesting, crystal picture frame. Very small, the picture frame. I did not see any chips initially, but I did not super inspect it. I decided to leave it. Mosaic tiles. This time I'm checking them over, you know, scrupulously looking at them. And I did notice a patch on that bottom tile that looked like it was missing its glass mosaic tiles so I left that glad I saw that very sneaky that it was put on the bottom and not on the top where you could see it this little guy so funky so cool he looks like some kind of Leonardo da Vinci um, figurine very steampunkish a little on the bright colored side, but um, very funky. I did actually pop him in the cart. Not sure what those were. Then I saw this nice egg. This was Satsuma. It's modern. It is not particularly old. Not worth a whole lot. 
but very dark tropical, dark cottage. Be nice in a curiosity cabinet. This, I think, monkey pod wood trivet heavy nice little piece went into the cart the cart's filling up this is a deck prism for a ship I don't know if it's reproduction or if it's real if it is real it could be worth around $50 a little trompe l'oeil box Actually, not quite so little. It was a rather large box. I did not think that I would want to ship it. A wall sconce. This was all wood. Dark wood. Would have cleaned up nicely with a, mi a little bit of mineral oil or some Murphy's Oil soap. This set of four almost Art Deco looking coasters I had to have. Turned wood. Considering the palm tree stuff, we have so much palm tree stuff down here. That whole Tommy Bahama look, tropical tobacco walls, all of that was so popular over the last decade. It's like every condo in Destin was decorated in that bougie tropical style. And then things went a lot airier, a lot lighter and brighter. And you just see a ton of those tropical type things on the shelf right now. Wood box from Panama. A pepper grinder that I was checking out off out of the frame there. Very large pepper grinder. This gorgeous controlled bubble paperweight. Oh my gosh, how heartbreaking. There's a giant crack in it. I would have totally picked this up. Might have been a home goods piece. Might have been like a 20 or $30 piece from home goods, but sadly it did have a crack. That little blue candle holder might have been vintage. I should have looked it up. I recognize that color from watching previous videos from other thrifters, and I probably should have picked it up. Y'all, I have no idea what this is. It looks like to be some kind of shelf, but as you can see, the back expands on it. And I was absolutely perplexed. The hand carving on it was superb. If I knew what it was, I would have got it, I think. Lots of little floral and basket things. This looked to be something like a wedding decoration. Um, would be great hanging for a little girl's room, for a teenager's room. So this looked a little dark cottage. Again, hooks I'm not so certain would do well on the resale market. A nice shiny basket but rather shallow. That one was a wire basket. Not particularly interesting. Little ivy, it had sort of a brass container. The ivy was very worn. I thought, I don't know, I could maybe bring it back to life, but I didn't feel like working on it. This was a gorgeous boho hammock. And then I found some really nice florals. I like the teal color on these. Those will definitely end up in something that I feature at some point. And this set of florals also 
They were $3.99 a bunch, not a bad price. This one has hydrangeas in fall colors and a bunch of little ferns. I thought that was a lovely piece, so I picked those up. The florals at Goodwill can be really affordable compared to Michael's or Joann's. If you need new florals, you can always check out Michael's or Joann's. They do have quite a few nice new florals. But I did think that the used ones were too bad. This was kind of rusty looking and it had some hand painting on it. Looks like another party decoration. Popped inside the ceramic bowl which turned out to be nothing of great importance. Then I came up across this piece of art pottery. I was so tempted because I do love art pottery, but this was a very big bowl. It was by an artist named Alistair Miller. And I couldn't find anything on him. So it was probably somebody's college piece. A pretty little dark cottage looking divided tray, divided serving tray of some sort. Flipping it over, I do see a name brand on the back. Into the cart it goes. Shiny. I also looked at this one, which was similar. Boko something or other. But again, that kind of homogenous time, Tommy Bahama tree thing. This biplane was so tempting. How funky, how cool. Rather large. I didn't think I'd want to ship it. A cute little snowman figurine out of resin. So many snowmen. So many snowmen. A hat box that looked a little on the bright side. I wasn't crazy about the bright red. I thought, however, for a moment that I could okay, paint Jeff. it. Hey, Jeff. So I ran into Jeff here at the Goodwill. Jeff is from Bay City, Michigan, right? Yes, Bay City. Bay City. And we just struck up a conversation. Um, I noticed that he picked up this super cool um, plane that I was looking at. And yeah, no, I was just super excited to talk to another thrifter. So I'm going to pop his... Um, information in the description today and Jeff has a place out in Panama City and he comes down once a year once a year and I stay for four months and he says he fills his U-Haul with <laughs> I, I bring back a six foot by 12 foot covered U-Haul packed full of treasures wonderful well Jeff so great talking to you you too I appreciate it uh-huh we'll talk soon Jeff said that he likes to try to collect things that are really unusual like this faux cake and the really cool little biplane he brings things like these back to his booths in michigan he has like six different booths up in bay city so now we are on our way to the harvest house this is mountain drive in destin and the harvest house here on mountain drive in destin so as I was coming into the Harvest House, um, I noticed right away that they had some really lovely things on the front shelf that you'll see here coming up. 
lots and lots of books, lots of children's books. I believe that there might have been a couple of yardos on that shelf. Right away, I liked this little box, wood box, for $2. I also off-camera picked up a couple of brass goblets. I paid $8 a piece for them. Uh, I think they're going to look nice once they're all polished up. Their florals were a little more expensive here than at Goodwill. I am looking through the mugs here, and I'm not really particularly finding anything mug-wise um, today at the Harvest House. I was checking in the very back of the shelf because sometimes good things get shoved in the back. And so I was just making sure there wasn't anything really super cool hiding out back there. Always looking for Otajiri, always looking for Dansk, the Deneen pottery mugs, um, old military service mugs can sell very well. Check, check, check. Always checking. <laughs> I did like that Harvest House didn't um, cover everything up on their mugs with price stickers. They have a lot of hard goods here. I noticed this little raffia trivet, pot trivet for only 99 cents. A dollar, I think, I paid, and it went in the cart. And then I saw these hard Hey, placemats. Oh. Did you have to stay home today? You didn't get to go thrifting with me? No thrifting today. Why didn't you come with me, Dave? You had to go to doctors. <laughs> yeah, you would have had to wait for me, huh? I don't want to wait for two hours in the car. And this puppet boy would have been alone. <laughs> he was a good boy today, though, wasn't he? Yep. So I did find some good stuff. This is combination of today and what was it yesterday i went day before. day before yeah okay yeah i went on the way home the other night and then i just pulled a few other things out because i want to get them photographed and put away i'm not sure if the other video is going to um get its copyright restriction removed or not so we're working on it but i found some great stuff today you guys um so the first thing I got was this big tray here. It's, I think it's very dark cottage. Again, we'll probably show up in my dark cottage sale. Paid $4.99 for it. And I can't even tell, it's Raymond, Raymond Waits is the name on the back side of that. So I'm not sure, maybe a $20, $24 item plus shipping. I found th this set of De Serrano etched, I think they're etched, glasses. And um, I paid $1.99 for the pair. As you see, it says De Serrano. Um, and what's that? Etro. De Serrano Etro on it. I do like De Serrano. It's one of my favorite liqueurs. So I thought, if nothing else, I'll keep them. But they're worth about 20 bucks, so they'll probably get put up for sale. Today, I found this nice, heavy beer stein. It is Italian, it's glass, it's solid, and it's worth about 10 bucks. I paid $2 for it, 10 plus shipping. I found this little set of four coasters, dark wood. They're in good shape. I actually did check them all out today and make sure, looked, at, looked them over real good. Paid $1.99 for them, and those will end up in the Dark Cotter sale probably as well. This was also another piece I picked up for later this summer for Dark Cottage. Very cute little ditzy floral, dark floral mug um, for $1.99. And I was excited to find this Satsuma egg. This is actual Satsuma. 
and I paid $2.99 for it. Um, it's probably worth about $13 or $14. It's not too terribly expensive because it's modern Satsuma. It's not vintage, but I think it looks very dark cottage. So that stays for later. I found this great little, um, I don't know, I guess it's handmade pottery vase. Look at that beautiful movement on it. And it is signed on the back. So you can see it says Lamar on the back. So it was handmade. It's very heavy and a very pretty colors in there. Seaside blues and greens. Um, so just a lovely little piece. And I paid $3.99 for that. I have this set of four Christmas mugs that I picked up, $1.99 each. And the set's worth about $20. It's Christmas Eve. I think they're called Princess Something Christmas Mugs. Anyways, they're nice and heavy, very vintage. You can tell they're vintage. And uh, that will also probably show up later this summer. I got this Edible Arrangements mug. It's big, it's heavy, it's a nice mug. And the comps were looking good on that. So I picked this one up, Edible Arrangements. And I paid $2.99, I paid up a little for this one. A dollar more, I know. I did find another Mickey mug. So this is gonna join, this was, I also found at the same Goodwill. So that happens sometimes, the Goodwills um, will put out something one day and then the, if you go back the next day, the rest of it gets put out. Um, it's kind of frustrating for someone like me who doesn't live nearby and um, I'm working all the time. So um, I would love to be able to come back the next day and the next day and snag whatever pieces I've lost from the first day. But I was lucky to find him. So now that he'll be set, sold as a set. And I found these fabulous turned wood coasters. They also look to be in great condition. They're taped, so that's about as good as I could go looking at them. But they have this nice holder. They have kind of an art deco vibe, I think. Uh, maybe a tropical, light tropical Florida Art Deco vibe to them. Anyhow, nice. I think they, I can't say what kind of wood that is. It doesn't feel like bamboo. It's light enough to be bamboo. It might be oak, but it's, it doesn't feel really heavy enough to be oak. What do you think? Put Pop a comment in the comment section for me. This I found the other night at the Goodwill in Fort Walton, and it is a Bath and Body Works. There you see the logo on the bottom. It is a Bath and Body Works candle holder, and it's worth about 24 bucks, and I paid $1.99 for it. Pineapples are a theme right now. I keep finding pineapples. This is a um, handmade, a nicely done handmade um, wine glass or wine bottle turned into a tumbler. It's not sharp on top. They did a nice job of sanding it down. And I think it also looks a little dark coastal or, or dark cottage core. So here is that wonderful set of crystal candle glass, candle um, holders again. I can't remember the name. Not Lalique. Uh, not Orifors. Not Waterford. Uh, maybe Mikasa. Crystal holder, candle holders. They're just so pretty. They're so heavy. I couldn't get over them. I just could not um, stand it if you guys couldn't see that. I pulled those in from the Haven House out in Santa Rosa Beach, and I, I think I paid $4 a piece for them. And then also from out there in Santa Rosa Beach, um, in my video, it's actually gonna be editing out the 
part of the hall where, or the part of the pick where I actually found this little hand-painted Spanish vase out there at Caring and Sharing for, what did I pay, $5 on it. It's probably about a $15 item. And then I also found this wonderful lacquered, oops, vintage, very vintage, hand lacquered, um, beautiful vase from Vietnam. And it is from Hotel Majestic in Saigon. So this is quite vintage, possibly brought home from the Vietnam War. Um, really cool piece. I found that. Um, okay, getting up. There's more excitement over here. <laughs> I found a deck prism today at the Goodwill. I am not sure if this is authentic vintage or not. Anybody know? I was lucky to find this for a dollar ninety nine. It could be worth as much as fifty bucks, maybe more. If it's real, it's hard to tell if it's real or not. It could be, we get a lot of reproduction uh, nautical stuff around here because of it being the Emerald Coast. If you look at the way the light shines through it there, you notice it's almost blue at the tip and it's dark green at the bottom. I just love that. It's such a nice piece. I may keep it. I found this fabulous little, not very expensive mirror that um, was only $2.99 and I thought it was very gypsy boho looking. It has a hanger on the back. It's just a little tin mirror. Um, I thought it could look Western gypsy boho or cottage. So I picked it up. This fabulous guy, I wasn't able to find anything on him he looks like some kind of Leonardo da Vinci creation. He's trying to fly. Dave likes him, so he may end up flying into our living room. <laughs> Anyhow, I just, he was hilarious. I had to have him. Look at the expression on his face. <laughs> He's ready to test out his theory. <laughs> it's awesome. I found a Pier 1 photo frame. I haven't looked it up yet. I don't know what comps are. It's in really nice shape. Perfect shape. Paid $2.99 for it. It's heavy. Maybe about a $20 photo frame. Okay, moving over here. The other side of the table. Uh, Goodwill the other night. I scored for $3.99 a piece. Um, a set of six hand-blown Mexican water goblets. Mexican hand-blown glass. Worth, oh, around $100 for the six of them. So that would have been one, two, three, twelve, twenty-four. I paid. Um, if I don't keep them, because I could use a nice set of goblets to go with this beautiful table, I may end up selling them for, enlisting them for around 65 75 plus shipping. All right. I found a nice straw, vintage raffia trivet for uno dinero for one dollar at the Harvest House in Destin today. At the Goodwill in Destin today, I found this really great monkey pod trivet. Nice dark wood, very tropical, very boho, paid $2.99 for it. I found this lovely, not too terribly expensive <laughs> little moth um, tray, which will also go to my dark cottage sale this later this summer. I found this fabulous set of brass goblets. Once they're polished up, they will be worth a pretty penny. I don't know if they'll sell through right away or not. It may depend on how I hashtag and list them. I will have to polish them quite a bit. They are hand hammered brass. As you can see, this one has some oxidation on it. So if any of you have experience getting that out, please drop a comment and let me know what I should do. 
I have also found this very cute little trinket box for $2. It's just a cheap little wooden box that's embossed on the edge. It has this neat little hook to it. Perfect little jewelry box for your dresser top. You could put wishes in it. So that will probably end up in my dark cottage sale. I think it looks a little witchy, doesn't it? Kind of like it belongs in a witch's curio. And this was that puzzle box that I found a couple of weeks ago. It, it is a puzzle box. I found it at the Waterfront Mission for $2.99. Not particularly um, actually a, an actual puzzle box, but I heard it referred to as that. As you can see, it rolls open and closed like that. And actually what this is for is for the old vintage Singer sewing machine parts. But I think that the box itself is very cool. I love how it just kind of rolls open. <laughs> it's almost kind of steampunk in a way. It's that old. Underneath the brass goblets is a set of four Pimpernel placemats which I scored for $5 at the Harvest House in Destin today. And they could be worth 30, 40 bucks for the set of five. They have cork backings on them. They're in really nice shape. It took me a minute or two to look them up because when you Google Lens searched them, it just kept bringing up quilts. And I think that's why they were still sitting there. I don't know, they were on the bottom shelf but if you didn't know, these little hardwood cork-backed placemats are made by Pimpernel. And they can be worth a lot of money. Don't pass them up. Especially if they're only a buck or two. Grab them. Even if you have only just a set of two. Because the comp that I found online is I, I will pop up was only um, like two of them. So that's it, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me again today. I really hope that... Uh, this video makes it through. <laughs> Bye.